after 20 years of taking pictures, I don't think of it in terms of like making money as much or, you know, status or something. It's more like just this lifelong thing that I do. I started taking pictures in, I think, 99 or 2000. The whole vibe of just images and photos and books and digital has evolved so much and shifted so much. It's been fun to be a part of it. It's like a challenge, you know, to kind of create something that hasn't been created yet, make something unique, still put your own style on things. A lot of the time in a photo that you might like, there's like a simplicity there of why you like it, because you can relate to it, but it can also be exciting at the same time because it can look new. A lot of the stuff that I shot has just ended up being a mix of kind of autobiographical and, you know, putting myself in situations where I might get or make cool images, interesting images. And then at some point, that process of putting myself in situations to make photos and making photos and my life and everything all kind of overlap. And then it becomes just unclear of what's going on <laughs> in a way. But I kind of like that. Um, you know, I've always liked artists and singers and musicians, rappers that can kind of tell stories. It's not really important to me if the story is like a real story. It's just the way they tell it. And a big part of the way I want to tell it is I just want to have fun yeah. along the way and I want that to come out in the work. Cycling for me feels a lot like photography. It's got the exploration and curiosity built into it. It's a little bit repetitive and kind of obsessive the way photography can be, uh, but it's also very meditative and exciting. Skateboarding and snowboarding, surfing, cycling, hiking, it's things that I've done a lot and I enjoy and they feel nostalgic, but they also always feel fresh. I learn something um, while I'm doing something I'm really familiar with. Going on a long bike ride finding a photo you really like, taking a long ride on a surfboard. Any of those things are special. Some of my best experiences have come from those things. Uh, friendships, creative endeavors, whatever it is, I'm just thankful that it can keep going. This project is supposed to be about photographing nature, I guess, but I, I just see myself, you know, I'm always interested in the, the, the animal that's just worked its way into the suburbs or, you know, if there's a landscape, I like the road in it. There's kind of proof of this infliction of humans on the world. It can be funny, sad, 
and beautiful. And sometimes you just see destruction all in the same image. It's telling of the past, present, and future when you see an image like that, where there's an interruption in nature. Some of the images live as photographs, some live as collages, some get edited out. To sum it up, I feel like taking pictures is basically an exchange of energy, both with your subject matter and once you put the energy in and put, it, put the images out into the world, uh, you never know what's going to come back.